Did you know that Lucifer and the one third of angels that believed him, that followed him, were cast down on earth before heaven and earth was created? This is a story between hate and love once upon a time. Theologians and, and Bible scholars, people who have searched the deep things of the Bible and the things that entails it, people who have searched the, the meaning of certain things that were written in the Bible, Hebrew and Greek and their original meaning and all that, according to time and according to how creation came into manifestation, there was an earth before the earth that human beings are living on today was created and according to their according to their thesis according to their uh, according to that there was 4000 years before earth that human beings are living on today lucifer and the one set of angels that believed him that followed him that followed his plan and disobeyed god were cast down on the earth they lived they were a kind spirit. of life they weren't human beings they were spirits and they were living on earth an earth that, that that was there before the earth we human beings we are living on today and the heaven the sky we see today became what we see today or they came into manifestation they were cast down from their original place their original purpose and their original role and duty and because they were cast down onto a place that were not their original place Disorder came into their system. Error came into their system. Deception came into their system. Any any evil thing you could ever imagine of, it came into their system because in their original place there was a kind of life they were living. But since they came into a place that was not their original place, there will be a disorder. There will be confusion because now they will malfunction because that was not. The original place more so they are spirits and they can't function on an earth that they don't have a license to function on one day love stood up looked upon the kind of life that was on the earth chaos emptiness darkness void it it, it tortured the heart of love love couldn't bear it love couldn't just just wait to see what was going on love love just didn't didn't like what was going on he decided to create a brand new place he decided to create a brand new place called earth again this time he decided to create earth and heaven another earth and another heaven and beautify it the way he wants I'm talking about love and hate because there was such disorder because there was such void and chaos and such 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 emptiness and darkness and and all the evil things you could imagine all that confusion all that all that um, torture all that all that there is all that, that disorder because there was such love intended to bring a brand new place and a brand new people to manage to be in order to order that kind of place again he decided to bring in a brand new place and a brand new people to manage that place to take charge of that place to put things in order to run that place in order and that was where the fight started everywhere there was darkness love brought in light everywhere there was void love filled that place everywhere there was emptiness come on love filled that place with with beauty with beauty check check things check places that they are emptiness check the place that they are darkness check places that they are they are there there is uh, you know check places that there is void one thing one thing a certain day that there's no love in there. This is what love does. Love always seeks to bring together a unified front. That was what love did. 
That was why love created heaven and earth. That was why love created another human being called man. And love decided to let man be in charge of his creation. That is earth and the things that are within earth. That is why love decided that nobody, nothing could decide that like love did. Love decided it. Love wanted man to be in charge. That was why love created the earth. That was why love created man. You can check reference in Genesis chapter 1, the verse 1. In Genesis chapter 1, the verse 26. Love is God and God is love. God is the reason you are here. The question is, why am I here? The answer is, God is the reason you are here. God is why you are here. Supposing God didn't create earth, there wouldn't have been earth. Supposing God didn't create earth with his intended plan, man wouldn't have been possible. Man wouldn't have been available. Man wouldn't have been in existence. Why am I here? God is why you are here, my friend. Why am I here? God is why you are here. You need to have this in mind. You need to know this. Accept it. God is why you, me, and everybody is alive today. So that the earth he created, you manage it. You be in charge. You control things. You control the affairs that runs on it. You bring in order. You bring in rank. You be in absolute control. That is why you are here. You need to accept this. You need to know this. And that is why I have been on this journey to introduce you to yourself. What did you learn? What is your takeaway? Let me know what you learned. I'm going to record. Here's what I'm thinking. You know? What we do to 